Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to your low impact workout. I am Caitlin. We are on phase four, week one. So we're starting a new phase. This phase, we're going to be focusing on our metabolic conditioning. So uh, we're going to be working our strength and our cardio in one section. And then we're also going to have a bonus section of ESD at the end. So we'll be getting our heart rates up. And today we are going to work on upper push, lower pull. So we're gonna start with our pillar prep. On the ground, first we're gonna put our leg up, drop across, going into our reverse scorpion, dropping that leg across, both shoulders are touching the ground, stacking those hips, coming up, and then going to the other side. Getting some movement through your spine. Good. Just doing three or four each side. Good. We'll get them one more each side. Perfect. Then we are going to go 90 degrees with our legs, 90 degrees with our arms. Um, you'll exhale and bring that arm over the top, keeping your hips stacked, trying to open up that chest and bring your shoulder as close as you can to the ground. Inhale, come back over. So exhale up and over. And inhale, doing two more on this side. Wonderful, switching sides, flipping over. Again, 90 degrees with your arms, 90 degrees with your legs, and open up. You feel a nice little stretch to your chest. Wonderful, we're going to go to all fours next. And then stick one leg out. We're going to go into some quadruped rocking. So rock, rock back in that heel and then come forward. Just about four reps. Get a nice inner thigh stretch. And then good, switch over to that other side. Rocking back, coming up. Perfect. Next, we're going to be going at all fours into a bird dog. So an elbow and knee come together and then extend out. So engage that core, coming in into a crunch and then extend. Just four reps each side. Take your time here and then switch when you're ready. Wonderful. Next, we are going to move into our movement prep. It's gonna be 20 on, 15 off. We're gonna be starting with a single leg RDL, alternating sides. So take one leg, we're gonna be kicking it back, trying to keep your chest strong, that nice balanced position. Um, hips are pointed towards the ground, then you'll switch sides. Okay, I'll explain the others as we go. 20 seconds, alternating sides in three, two, one. We are on right here. So kicking back, finding that nice single leg RDL position. Probably only get about two reps each side. So bring that focus right to your balance. Here's three, two, one. Good, next we are going to a drop lunge. So we'll take one leg, step back across and down, and then switch over to that other side. Okay, three, two, one, we're on. Side to side, stepping back and across. We're gonna be doing this same exercise later in the workout, but we're gonna be adding weight. So make sure you're focusing on that form right now. Staying in that front midfoot and heel. Not going into those toes. Perfect. We're going into a glute bridge next. 
on your back, hips about, or feet about shoulder width, press those hips in the air. Three, two, one, we're on. Good, engaging your glutes. Give you a nice tight core. Pressing through those heels. Perfect, we're going flipping over. The last exercise here, we're going into mountain climbers. This first time you can keep it nice and slow and just bring that knee in. Three, two, one, we're on right here. Drive that knee up, not plank position. Keeping your core tight, just focusing on that activation to start off the day. Three, two, and one, perfect. So we're going through those one more time. Finishing out that movement prep. Starting with the single leg RDL, alternating three, two, one, we're on. Kick back, focusing on that form, which is about two reps each side. Nice, there's three, two, one. Good, we're gonna go into that drop lunge. Getting ready, in three, two, one, we're on. Stepping back across. This time, if you have the form down, you can speed it up a little bit. Good, chest stays up. Strong balance, even at the bottom. Woo. There we go. There's three, two, one. Good, going into our glute bridges. Next, pushing those heels into the ground in three, two, one. We're on, hips up in the air. Really nice. If you feel any pinch in your back, you're bringing your hips too high. Just bring them high enough to feel that engagement in your glutes. And good. Flipping over. We're going to our mountain climbers. This time, if you want to speed it up a little bit, go for it. Getting our heart rate up. Ready to go for a metabolic conditioning section. Three, two, one. We're on. Still keeping a low impact, though. Let's drive those knees up. Yeah, there's three, two, one, perfect. Nice job, grab a quick drink. We're gonna be moving on to our next section. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, we are morphing our strength section and our ESD into one. We're also going to have a little ESD only section at the end. So it'll be a strength exercise for 30 seconds. Then we're going straight into a cardio exercise for just 15 seconds. Then we'll get a 30 second break. Okay, so our first group are push ups. So in that plank position, four on your knees, nice straight body, four on your knees here, keeping that body. Nice and flat. And then we're going right into a no jump burpee. So you're stepping up and right back down. If you want to add in the jump, go for it. Take it up a notch. Okay, we're going to be doing three different groups like that. And then we have one single strength exercise at the end. We're doing three rounds. Okay, let's get rolling. I'll explain the other exercises as we go. So we're starting for 30 seconds of those push ups into 15 seconds of the no jump burpees. In three, two, one. We are on. 
right here. 30 seconds, nice, strong push-ups. Remember, modify as needed right here. Keep your whole core tight. Don't let your hips drop. Yeah, bring it for another five. We're going right into our burpees in three, two, one. We're on, standing up, coming right back down. Yeah, bring it right here, going for about five reps if you can get them in. There's three, two, and one. Woo, nice job. Breathe it out. Next exercises are gonna be a drop lunge. You'll hold one weight at your chest, step back across and down, and then to the other side. We're pairing that with a squat to an elbow knee crunch. So squat down and cross, elbow knee, squat and cross for our cardio. We're rolling in three, two, one. So a medium weight on this one. Drop lunge, chest stays up, Step back and cross and down. Good, heart rate is up here. Control it with your breathing. And three, two, one. Good, setting that weight down. Squat and crunch. Yeah. Speed it up right here. There's three, two, and one. Perfect. We are going into tricep kickbacks and a push press. So if you have wider weights, this is when you're going to want to grab them. Elbows in, kick back, and then come back up. Then we're going into a push press. This, you can keep your lighter weights. Let's do a little squat, big punch, right into the air, right over your head for speed. Three, two, one, we're on. Tricep kick back, 30 seconds. Bend over position, nice tight core. Kick back and hold. Yeah, team. Right here, we have five seconds to go. Then we're going right into that push press in three, two, one. Good. Same weight. And go for it. Squat, punch in the air. Short and sweep, 15 seconds. Yeah, three, two, one. Perfect. Final exercise right here will be RDLs. So, Feet about shoulder width apart, sitting back in those heels, going into a hip hinge. So coming down, hopping on your shins, coming up. We are not doing any cardio exercise with it. This will be the end of round one. So just finish out good form right here. In three, two, one. So this is that medium or heavier set of weights. Keeping your back nice and flat. Shoulders are strong. Yeah, team. About five seconds to go. A couple more reps. There's three, two, and one. Awesome job. Set your weights down. Shake it out. Grab a quick drink. About 30 seconds before we get rolling into our second round. Like I said, we're doing three rounds total. Okay, really, really nice. If you need to change your weights at all your second round, go for it. So that lighter set, if you have them, use it for your tricep kickbacks and your push press. If you have kind of that heavier set, use it for your drop lunge and your deadlifts. Okay, we're gonna get rolling. Starting in three, two, 
and one. Push-ups right here. 30 seconds. Keep your core nice and tight. We're going to be pairing this into our no jump burpees. Yeah, stay strong. Challenge yourself on the strength. There's three, two, one. Good. Right into those burpees. Going for about five reps if you can get them. Bring that speed. There's three, two, and one. Woo! Really nice. We are going into that drop lunge and a squat to elbow knee crunch. So one, weight at your chest, getting ready to go. Good, catching your breath right here. Starting in three, two, one, good, drop lunge. If this one is too much with the weight, just get rid of it. Focus on your form. Wonderful job. Like I said, we're pairing this with a squat to an elbow knee crunch. We'll drop that weight, get right into it. Three, two, and one. Right here, squat down and crunch. Good, side to side, make it quick. Yeah, three, two, one, woo, tricep kickbacks with our push press. Grabbing that lighter set of weights, getting ready to go. Really pushing it right here. Okay, let's bring that focus, three, two, one more on, kick back, hold. Good, really hitting those triceps. Good, notice I don't have any movement in my upper arm, not swinging. Extend and hold for a second. We're going to that push press in three. Two, one, right here. We're on. A little squat, big punch right in the air. Bring that speed. Stay in those heels. Yeah. Three, two, one. Perfect. Setting your weights down for a few seconds. We're going into our RDL, finishing out round two. Really, really nice job. Okay, picking up those weights again. Okay, ready to go. In three, two, one. Good, sitting back and come up. Nice, you should feel a really good stretch through your hamstrings, hip hinging. Back stays flat. Good. Last couple reps. There's one. Got one more in. And two. Awesome job. Set those weights down. Really good. Grab a drink right here. So we have one final round through all those exercises. If you want to increase the weight, go for it. If you have a heavier set of dumbbells, Use them for your RDLs. And if you want to use two weights for your drop lunges, go for it as well. I'll do that this time. 
Okay, we're gonna get ready for those push-ups. We're going right into them. Getting down to the ground. Ready to bring it. In three, two, one. If you can add a couple more reps on your toes, challenge yourself right here. Yeah, keeping that core tight, body is staying flat. Getting ready for that burpee. Three, two, one, we're on, right into it. No jump burpees. Bring that speed and intensity. Good, get in one more rep here. There's three, two, one, perfect. Woo. We're going into that drop lunge paired with the squat to an elbow crunch, elbow and knee. Let's do it. You want to grab that second weight for a challenge? I'm just going to hold them at your sides. Woo. Let's get ready. There's three, two, and one. We're on down and across. Phase four, you've been working hard for weeks now. That means you can push it. Challenge yourself a little bit more this phase. Good, we're going into that squat. So elbow knee crunch. In three, two, one. Good, setting those weights down. And into it, squat and crunch. Good, sitting back with those heels. And good, relax. Woo, catch your breath. Tricep kickbacks and a push press. Okay, getting those weights nice and close. Getting ready to go. In three, two, one, kick back. Yeah, hold strong. Wonderful job right here. We have 10 seconds to go. Then we're going right into that push press. You want to increase your weight on that push press. Go for it this round. There's three, two, and one. Good. We're on. Little squat, big punch right into the air. Short and sweet. Yeah. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Relax. Grabbing that heavier set of weights, if you like, for those final RDLs. Still bringing that focus to your form. Hips go back, and you're reaching down nice and close to your legs. Okay, let's get rolling. And three, two, one, we're on. Step back, pause for a second at the bottom. We're gonna really hit those hamstrings. Yeah, staying strong. 15 to go right here. Hips back. There's three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job. Set those weights down. Grab a drink. Lucky you, we're not done yet. <laughs> Done with our metabolic conditioning section. We are going to go to ESD next. So you already all know all the exercises we're gonna do. We're doing our no jump burpees, our squat to elbow knee crunch, and our push press, our three. 
So you will need that lighter set of weights or heavier set if you'd like to really challenge yourself for this final round. We're gonna be doing 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And I think we have time for three rounds today. So I think we're just gonna go for it. Maybe a little bonus. I was only planning on two, but we have some time. Okay, make sure you're grabbing a drink here, toweling off if you need to. So we're gonna be starting with that no jump burpee. Then we will go into our squat, so elbow and knee crunch, and then our push press. Those are our three. Okay, everyone, 15 seconds on, 15 off. No jump burpee. Starting in three, two, and one. We're on. Good. Step back, step back up. We're going to try to go for those five reps. Good. One final one. And perfect. Good. Squat to an elbow knee crunch. Bring that speed. We got this. And three, two, one, we're here, we're on. Squat down, elbow and knee come together. Yeah, bring it. There's three, two, one, perfect. Push, press, grabbing those weights. Little squat, big punch right up to the ceiling. And three, two, one, we're on. Squat and punch. Yeah, three, two, one, perfect. Set those weights down. Breathe it out. We're going through two more rounds just like that. Okay. Starting with our no jump burpee. Let's get rolling. Three, two, one. We're on. Good. Five, maybe even six reps right here. Stepping back, stepping back up. Yeah. Three, two, one. We're on. Nice job. Squat to elbow knee crunch. Starting in three, two, one. We're on right here. Squatting nice and low. Knee comes up nice and high. Crossing that midsection. Yeah, three, two, one. Push press. Catching your breath. It's a little time in between. Getting ready to bring it. Okay, three, two, one, push press. We're on. Sitting back in those heels, punching that weight up to the ceiling. There's three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job, team. We have one final round of the day. 45 seconds of work. Okay. Starting with that. Floor's a little squeaky. <laughs> okay. Starting with that burpee. Then three, two, and one right here. We're on five or six reps. Yeah, two more. Last one here. And good, awesome. Squat, elbow knee crunch. Getting ready to bring it. And three, two, one, we're on. Squat, and crunch. Yeah. 
Bring that leg across. Nice and low each time. Three, two, one. Woo. Last one of the day. Push press. Grabbing those weights. Bring that power. Three, two, one. We're on. Punch those weights up into the air. Yeah, three, two, one. Woo! Wonderful, wonderful job. Set those weights down. Grab a drink. Good. Walk around a little bit. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Nice job. Thank you so much for coming today. We're going to go through, through some regen right here. Nice little cool down. So we're starting with our arms up in the air, reaching nice and high. Then we're going to bring our hands down towards the ground. Just let everything relax. Your hamstrings, your shoulders, your neck, your back. Good, slowly coming up, reaching up again, nice and tall. Coming back down towards the ground. You can step your feet a little bit wider, about double short shoulder width apart, and sit into those heels. If you can't go this low, that's okay. Just stay up a little higher in a squat. Try to work your way deeper into those hips. You can bring your feet closer together, further apart, whatever feels best for you. Working on that hip mobility. Trying to keep your back nice and straight. Feel free to move side to side slightly. Good, we'll go hands on the ground again. Reaching those hips up. And then we'll go back down to your deep squat one more time. Chest is up, elbows on the inside of your knees. And shake it side to side. Breathing into any tension you feel in your hips. Good. Putting your hands on the ground. Slowly, slowly standing back up. And then we're going to go into a butterfly stretch. So seated, put your feet together. We're going to take our left arm and elbow, put it on the ground. Right arm is going to reach up and over. You can also pull back with that right arm to get a really deep stretch through your shoulder and chest. Good, then we'll switch sides. Right elbow on the ground, left arm up and over. You should also feel a nice little stretch through your ribs and into your hip. Good, we'll just go side to side one more time each side. And uh, then we're going to go forward. So just bending at your hips, just like you did in the RDL, keeping that back flat. And then let your back bend. Face can come towards your feet. So a butterfly stretch. Good, slowly come up. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Again, I'm Caitlin. This is your low impact workout and keep coming back every week because we are progressing week over week. Um, and then right after this, we have express abs. So I'll see you in about five minutes. You can stay on the class if you'd like. We'll just keep it rolling. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.